Hi there, it's Chris, founder, operator, music curator at theadventureandtheadventureradio.com, and this is what I like to call an adventure new music spotlight. And under this spotlight is one of my favorite bands. Maybe not a band, it's maybe a project. It's called Blonde Fire. I guess Blonde Fire used to be a band. It was a brother-sister duo made up of Erica and Bruce Driscoll. They were originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, held dual citizenship between the U.S. and Brazil. They're now based in L.A. Bruce left his sister, Jerk, sometime in 2015. I'm kidding. Sometime in 2015 to focus on his other band, another group that the adventure plays called Freedom Fry. But he still works with uh, his sister a little bit on various projects, but not on this one. She has ventured out on her own and got a couple of musicians to work with her. Anthony Polcino on guitar, Josh Miramontes on bass, and Reed Pryor on drums. They're listed on the Blonde Fire Facebook page. So they've got a new song. It was released on October 3rd on SoundCloud, and it just kind of sat there. A couple of blogs mentioned it. I listened to it and thought, yeah, it's a great song, but there wasn't a real effort behind the song, or at least it didn't seem so. Well, that changed on January 27th, 2016, when a music video, a full music video, was released for the song. And then on February 5th, it was released into the wild, officially released into the digital stores on the Wax Limited record label. So the push is now in full force for this single. And it's just a single, which is too bad. I'd love to hear more songs because I love the older stuff from Blonde Fire. Where the Kids Are, Walking with the Giants, and Waves. Great songs. And this is another really good one. It's called True Confessions, and it's under the Adventure New Music Spotlight. I'm waiting for a chance to rewind. Looking for a light that still shines. Searching for a love that I
is Blonde Fire with True Confessions, formerly a brother-sister duo, now just Erica with Anthony, Josh, and Reed. And it's interesting to note that Blonde Fire used to be known as a stare, but Fred's family didn't like it, I guess. I don't know. Actually, the story I heard was that the estate of Fred Astaire never actually threatened any legal action, but Bruce and Erica decided, and this was uh, uh, happened in the middle of a tour, I think, uh, they decided that they would change their name to Blondfire to avoid any legal issues, which is always a good idea not to get uh, lawyers involved. Blondfire is on the internet at blondfire.com, and uh, note that there is no E after blonde. It's just B-L-O-N-D-F-I-R-E dot com. They're also on SoundCloud, as mentioned before. They're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. is below in the show more section. And if you want more music and bands just like Blondfire, check out The Adventure online at theadventureradio.com. We're streaming 24-7, commercial-free, playing indie and alternative, the songs that are just bubbling under, the underexposed ones, the underloved ones. We're also on Facebook. Give us a thumbs up there. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more music just like this. Also, like and comment on this video. Let me know what you think. That does it for this new music spotlight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.